hi everyone welcome to geek decoders power bi learning channel so today i'm going to explain you count count x count a count a x uh, dax function and uh, a simple use cases of it so if you are visiting my channel for the first first time please uh, subscribe to my channel for more power bi videos press subscribe and click the bell icon so you will never miss any power bi updates from geek decoders so in my tutorial my data sheet contains salesperson item sales value sales date feedback sales country and priority customer so uh, this data sheet actually you can download uh, the link is mentioned in the description section So first I will take count uh, for that to demonstrate that go and create a new measurement. Right in the measurement I write count. So I use count function. So as you can see if I type count, count counts the numbers in the column. So here I use count and here as column I would say I would do feedback. Right, so my function is done. My count function, uh, or the measure that is written, is available. So I will uh, put it to this card. Right, so count uh, display as nine. So if I check the data source, this is the feedback column that I have used for the count function. So there are one, two, three, four five six seven eight nine so it will omit the blanks and uh, give the count uh, of the number of rows right so same as count i will use count a function now count a equals so this is the measure i would write count a count the number count the number of value values in a column so same as count right, so I will use like this same as uh, before I will use the feedback as count right so count a function also available I will add it to this card by removing this right so as you can see there's no any change there the same number uh, is uh, came for count a function as well so then what is the different so to find out the difference for the count function I will add a column here so I will use uh, customer priority customer field here So as you can see now the count function or the count measure measure is not uh, you know uh, correctly displayed right so now we are going to add same column to count a function as well right so for the count a function also now I'm going to use a different column same column that I have used for uh, count column priority customer right so as you can see count a function now uh, value is uh, started or value is displayed so that is the actual difference so basically with count we can't use boolean columns for the count a function we can use booleans so as you can see the priority customer is a boolean here the data type is true or false so count a function accepts boolean but when it comes to count it will not accept boolean so that is the main difference when you are doing or when you are developing something in Power BI dashboard. Right, so now I will demonstrate count x function. So for that also I will create a new measurement, new measure. So here I will use count x and I will use count x function. right so here as you can see uh, first I have to give a table so what it does is count the number of values 
which resolve for evaluating an expression for each row of a table that means I mean instead of giving the full table we can give a filtered table so that is the purpose of it so first I'll give the full table sheet 1 and here expression wise so I want the count x of let's say sheet 1 feedback right so I'm going to add this count x to here this card right so that also display the same number as count so what is the difference so difference here is instead of sheet 1 we can view filters that means we can get a set of rows uh, in the table by using the filter so I will use a filter here filter uh, table is sheet 1 and then ta uh, filter expression is we say sheet 1 dot uh, let's say sales country equals India right so as you can see now the count x function displaying only two so that means count x function took only this row and this is blank so it will not use this one so it will not accept blanks and this one so these are the two rows that uh, which was output from the count x function so now we'll demonstrate count ax function I think that is that uh, straightforward so that means this will count ax function will accept boolean or true or false data type but count x will not accept true or false so let's demonstrate it and see how it works so in here previously written count x function I will add a new column priority customer As you can see, the visual says can't display the visual. So, uh, with the count x function with the data type true and false or boolean. Right, so now we create a measure for count a x function. So, I would say count a x. So, here I will use a filter, same filter filter sheet 1 filter expression would be sheet 1 sales country equals India and here I would add expression wise sheet 1 the boolean value priority customer column right for this card I will add this count a x function or the measure that we have created as you can see now it started to display with the boolean values so uh, I hope uh, you get a good understanding about count count x count a and count a x functions with these use cases and thanks for watching my video uh, please subscribe to my channel please keep in touch uh, and please share it with your friends thank you